Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. Before we go any further, huge shout out to my guy Woozy for letting me hop on his account to do Diamond Mellow gameplay. 6'8, 240 pounds, 93 three ball, 80 driving dunk, 91 ball handle, 80 perimeter defense, good defensive rebounder, 90 speed, 84 speed ball, 90 acceleration, as well as that 83 lateral quickness. Tendency wise, Mellow does have that 90 driving dunk tendency. Looking at his defensive tendencies here, they're above average all the way around nothing's absolutely crazy but it is above average seven all the fame badges corner specialist difficult shots clutch shooter dead eye stop and pop tyler shooter and volume shooter 14 gold badges including blinders on next gen that is steady shooter on current gen deep threes downhill quick first step as well as three silver badges now he needs a lot of badges that's the one thing about this mellow card he can get a lot of badges but he definitely needs a lot of badges hot zone hunter he needs he needs a badge like the like where's it at intimidator interceptor clamps pick dodger highlight film like he doesn't come complete so you got to really decide what you want to put on this carmelo anthony let's see let's make sure he's got those five bad spots which he definitely does hopping into shoot around with carmelo does have hot spots from those four out of five places around the arc and let's just see what his release is like on next gen I just hope he doesn't step in now. I'm not going to sit here and lie. This release feels very smooth. It feels a lot. It feels quicker than Kevin Durant's release. That's the first thing I want to notice. Now, he does get a weird little hop animation out of it. If you notice how he catches, his body like automatically turns and he hops out of it. But I don't mind it. It's smooth. It's quick. And it's easy to green. What else could you want out of a Carmelo Anthony? You know, it's, it's, it, it's exactly what I just said. Smooth, quick, easy to green. That's all you really need from a guy like Melo. Now, let's make sure he can shoot corner threes, which... We were almost promised by 2K he would be able to, and it looks like he definitely can. So next gen wise, I think Melo is going to be better than he is on current gen. Because on current gen, I'm guessing he's still going to step in. Now we'll go back to current gen just to make sure, but that's just my guess off of off of just kind of what his release is on next gen. Now let's see how he feels in the half court or in the full court as far as dribble six. Okay, pro one, which I don't mind. Half court, let's see. I lie. He's looking tough. Like, he's looking tough as far as dribble sticks are concerned. I'm not going to sit here and lie. He is definitely looking tough. Like, even his between the legs and stuff, like, it's, it, he is looking tough. Now, I don't want to sit here and say Melo is going to be, like, a guy you're going to want to create a lot of your offense with. But he is, he is definitely looking tough um, as far as that is concerned. Now, even in 2K20, Melo is one of my favorite players. He got released in the same set that Carl got released. And I actually did like Melo. Like, I really did. Now, obviously, it's a little different story on current gen this year with just look at his dribble six on current gen compared to next gen. That's about all you need to see. Uh, but still, I don't think, I don't think I'm going to mind Melo. Now, obviously, it's hard to green for me <laughs> when I'm playing current gen on, on the next gen system. It just, it's harder for me to green consistently because I'm not used to it. And I probably will never get used to playing on the next gen system. Um playing current gen on the next gen system but this thing is Melo's release is still quick it's still fine uh and that's the thing from three it, it is still like you guys can't see i'm shooting a ton of slightly late it is one of the quicker releases in the game it just depends on what kind type of catch animation he gets because sometimes he gets a quick catch animation and other times he gets kind of a load up so as you guys can see it's kind of tough to time because it is so quick and as you guys can see, he's going to shoot long twos from the corner. We knew this going into it. That Melo probably was going to shoot long twos. As you guys can see, the long twos of Carmelo Anthony, it is still a thing in the game. We we, we thought it might be, and it really still is. As you guys can see here, um, it's not even close. Like, he just automatically steps in every single time. And so that's one thing that is definitely very, very annoying for this Carmelo Anthony card. But still, you should be able to green a majority of your threes with Carmelo uh, just because he does have a smooth release. His release is very, very, very smooth. I'm excited to use Carmelo Anthony because I was like one of the only rare guys last year to ever even like the card. And so that's kind of why I'm excited to use him to kind of just showcase what this Melo can do. Stop. That's a moving three. I didn't even mean to shoot a moving three. But look at Carmelo Anthony on the first possession of the game. This is great defense. This is fantastic defense. Lightlies. I love it. Get it up to Melo. We're stopping on the break. Who do you think I am? We're stopping on the break. I got to be able to green that with Melo, though. That's a great shot. Hmm. Whoa, why am I skipping chill? Show me that quick first step versus Carmelo Anthony. The quick first step. Out to Melo. Chill. Quick first step. Back to... 
What's going on here? I don't like this, all this attention. I don't like this attention and defense by Cam Reddish. I just don't. Everybody's leaving him wide open and they will eventually pay. He threw that? Come on, Melo. Show me something. Show me something, Melo. Chill. Chill. Look at Melo. Out to MJ. That's green. Good shot. Michael Jordan. That's the one I needed to see. Great pass there by Carmelo Anthony. Look at him just running like, oh my goodness. Running is confirmed back in 2K and better than ever. But like, what am I watching? I just got to get comfortable Ooh. taking moving shots. I feel like 2K really knows how to make me mad. I, that's all I can really say about this. Like, they really know how to make me mad. Out to Melo. That's green. Thank you. Finally, Carmelo Anthony gets an open shot. And, of course, I green it. Out to Melo. I need something. He is getting hacked. Come on. They caught a foul. I didn't even mean to reach. I thought I had the ball back, so I tried pressing X to shoot it again, and they called a foul. Melo's got three fouls. I've never gotten more. Like, I've never felt more hold in one quarter of my life. That's not mine. Look at it. Look at how cold his team is right now. That's tough. Imagine you playing me and your whole team is cold. Jalen Brown. Pow. Jalen Brown with the three. The lead is now up to four. That's what I need to see. Look at stop. Chill. Stop. Chill. We got to find Melo. Chill, Melo. It's green. Good shot, Carmelo. I'm muddy with Melo from the mid-range area, at least. I mean, that's the one thing about it is when he's got open shots, especially from the mid-range area, they have been knocked down. He shot a moving three. I just don't know about all this. Melo, pow me. Give me one, Melo. Thank you. Carmelo Anthony finally getting in the action here. Might just, it's just, a, just came a little late compared to where it normally does in my game plays. Did we get another quit in the first half? going to be three for three if he quits as well and we get another quit in the first half i have to admit i wasn't that impressed with carmelo in unlimited let's see if he's more impressive in triple threat online i'm just hoping i can do something in this with Melo because in that in that unlimited gameplay it was just like i couldn't really move how i wanted to with Melo. do i think he can move yeah i, I don't mind his dribble six anything like that i just wasn't very good with Melo. In that gameplay now i gotta be able to not, i gotta find a way to move with mellow better than i am good mellow thank you that's a lightly grab the board where's mellow yo i forgot i forgot about the back cuts luckily it worked out for me but that's why i was like caught so off guard come on katie hold your own down here good defense look at mellow board man mellow it is defensive reading Defensive rebounding rating. Come here. Knocked down. I know you're tired, Melo, but I still need it to be knocked down. Oh, yes, sir. Look at the lurk by Melo. Show me something. Melo flying high for the two-handed flush. Playing defense on one end. Getting the steal and running on the other end. That's great defense. Look at KD up to Melo. Chill. Back to KD. Come here, Melo. Send me one. Hey. Hey. I really fried him and didn't shoot it. Out to Melo. I'll shoot that. And I don't know what it is, but I do not love Melo's release on next gen. What's going on? I couldn't even see my screen. There it is, Melo. I didn't want to shoot that. Thank you for going in. It's it's tough to score with Carmelo. I, it's about the complete opposite of what I thought. I thought Melo would be an absolute bucket getter. But so far, it's not been easy sledding for me with this Carmelo Anthony. Green me. Thank you. Finally, I green a shot with Carmelo Anthony. He about had a turnover there. Steph saves the day over to Melo. Off the catch and shoot. For a green light. And maybe that's maybe that's the big deal. Maybe I just I'm trying to create too much with Melo and just need to use him strictly as a catch and shoot guy. Good KD up to Melo. Melo, can you dunk the ball for me, Carmelo? Come here. Great. I love it. Melo, can you just dunk the ball for me? Show me something, Melo. Give me some sort of promise. Because right now, you're not showing me anything. Like I'm trying time and time again to, to get something out of you, and I'm just not seeing any sort of promise. Good, D. Good. There it is. Mellow, man. Mellow, man. Mellow, man. 
You've got to be able to green if you want to be usable in this game. I'm sorry. The only thing you're bringing me right now is in the catch and shoot. And you've got to green just like that. All right, so Melo's made two out of his last two. He's finally starting to show me a little bit of something. Can I? Can he finish the game strong? Because if he could finish the game strong, I ain't going to lie with you. I might, I might change my mind on Carmelo. Now, I can't green with him. But he's three of his last three from deep. Can we finish it off, Hoodie? Hoodie Melo. Hey, back to him. It's green, right? I sold, bro. His release on next gen sucks. Really threw a bounce pass. Like, I'm not seeing. Finish him. Finally, I get a green light for Carmelo Anthony. It definitely was not easy sledding for Melo. For Melo, he did end up with 19 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist, 2 steals, 7 of 13 from the field, and 5 of 8 from deep. Now, I can't sit here and say Carmelo Anthony was absolutely terrible in that gameplay, but it's just like the eye test. With KD, he feels smooth. With Carmelo, I can't say the same. It, it was just kind of stagnant with Melo. I didn't really feel at, in a flow at any point with Carmelo, and I don't know if it's because of his speed with ball. Just because I I just I was just uncomfortable with him. Shooting the ball, dribbling the ball, everything about this Carmelo Anthony just didn't feel fluid for me. So give me a lot of these players over him. Give me KD over him. Give me a guy like Grant Hill over him. Give me Cam Reddish over him. The only reason I would run Carmelo Anthony if I was you guys is if you're a huge Melo fan. Then you can still make him work. He's not absolutely terrible, but definitely not worth the pickup in NBA 2K21 mind. So that's going to wrap it up for the video. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.